Ever since this movie came out, I've heard no one talk about it. Ever. Except one person. And he sold me with two words. Rock Monsters. Noah. So Noah is a 2014 biblical drama film it's written and directed by Darren Aronofsky, co-written by Ari Handel. I like Darren Ar Aronofsky films, at least three of them. Uh, Pie, Requiem for a Dream, The Wrestler. Didn't so much care for Black Swan. And then there's this. Holy, holy jumping shit balls. Oh, man, this has Russell Crowe, Jennifer Connelly, Ray Winston, Emma Watson, Anthony Hopkins, and oh boy, I don't even need to tell you what the story is about. You know the story of Noah's Ark, two animals onto an ark, all that kind of stuff. That's the general gist and story of this movie, but this movie's two hours and 20 minutes of what the fuck, the whole time, what the fuck. In the opening five or ten minutes, I see rock monsters, a flaming sword, and a snake, magic snake skin. And I'm just like, what is this? What the fuck am I watching here? And that's pretty much how I felt the whole time. This movie is absolutely hilarious. It's hilarious. I spent the whole two hours and twenty minutes laughing my ass off just by how ridiculous this film is. Like... Noah's this real godly person, right? So he, he always tries to do the right thing. Now, keep that in mind as you watch Noah in this movie because he is the biggest, evilest bad guy in this entire fucking movie. Like, he wants to kill babies. He'll save animals over people. Uh, murder is wrong. Murders lots of people. He, he cockblocks other people as well, which is not cool. Leaves people to die. Like, all this kind of shit. And I'm just like, wait, he, he's going to get to go to heaven? Like, what is this? What even is this? <sighs> so Russell Crowe is Noah. Jennifer Coley, his wife, he's got, they've got two sons, Shem and Ham. Here we go, right here. All right, Shem and Ham. Boys. Noah and his wife, male, female. Well, there's too many men, not enough women. How are they going to get the human race to survive? Oh, well, they find a survivor, which ends up being Emma Watson. So at least, like, one of the boys has now has a mate. The other boy, who seems like a perfectly decent, understanding, caring young boy, wants a mate as well. He even tries to go and get himself one. Go on, you man. Hey. If you never try, you never get anywhere, right? So he tries to bring this woman home and then Noah swoops in, saves his son and leaves that girl to die. And I'm just like, you just left her to die. You could easily could have launched you mentally huge cock blocking there by Mr. Noah. It was just fucking hilarious. There's just heaps of stupid shit in it. Like all these animals have boarded the ark and then Jennifer Connelly and Russell Crowe are walking with this thing that puts them to sleep, this gas. It doesn't put them to sleep either, only animals? And I'm like, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. It's got this like super vegany message. And I'm like, no 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 no, I'm sorry. Unless someone wants to show me some kind of thing where I'm absolutely one hundred percent wrong in the fucking comments down below, but I'm pretty sure there were no real vegans back in the fucking ancient ancient magical times. Yeah. Oh my god. He won't eat animals, but he'll sacrifice them to the gods. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Also, with Noah, he gets these rock monsters, which are like angels turned into rock monsters for some reason. They piss God off somehow. And they're like, we'll help you build this thing, Noah. And Noah's like, yeah, sweet, cool. I'm going on a fucking smoke break. And then it goes to like a million years later and the arc's almost finished. And Ru Russell Crowe's still like sitting around doing jack shit. He did barely anything. The rock monsters built this arc, not Noah. He supervised at best. Fucking lazy. 
<sighs> also, like a movie like this doesn't make sense. Like, I was like, all right, where are the koalas and kangaroos? No, they don't get saved. But wouldn't they get drowned? So did they only exist after the... Noah has this kind of like stepbrother or whatever. His name's Cain. He's like supposed to be an evil king or whatever, doing whatever it is he can do for him and himself and his people survive. Now, it does turn out he's got this, like, huge self-preservation, selfish streak. But, other than that, unlike Noah, he's trying to help his people. He's, he's, like, trying to help them survive and stuff. And he's willing to do anything he can to do that. And I'm like, how, I know he's kind of the bad guy, but he looks like a good guy compared to Noah. This guy, not self-righteous, will do what he can to save his people. This guy, self-righteous, you can all fucking die. Oh, I'm saving the animals. Then the, the Ark stuff happens, and, you know, they're all on the boat and stuff, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, once this flood's over, and they can go back to land and shit, how are you going to repopulate the earth? And then there's this whole horror movie thing, and, like, it turns from this big biblical thing to some kind of horror movie, because, oh my goodness, Emma Watson's character can't have kids, so Anthony Hopkins, who plays Methuselah, Kills her vagina so she can have kids. So she immediately goes to bang and has it and gets pregnant. So she's on the ark and Noah's just like, well, humans have got to die out because we're evil. And I'm like, okay. So they better be boys because if they're girls, I'm going to kill them. Well, it wasn't one girl. It's two girls. So he's like double like, I've got to stab these motherfuckers. And it turns into this like horror movie as he's like roaming the fucking ark trying to fucking kill babies. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, <sighs> it's this movie's like, what the fuck? Slash hilarious, slash frustrating, and I, I loved it, every second of it. Oh, it's a bad movie. It's fucking awful, but it's so watchable for the entire two, two hours and twenty minutes. I'm just like, bizarre, stupid, ridiculous, amazing, the whole time. It's a movie that made budget, like, it, it, it was a box office hit. It made more than its budget. Lots of people see this movie. I've even spoken to people who have seen this movie, and guess what they don't remember? The Rock Monsters. No one remembers The Rock Monsters. Everyone remembers this overwhelming vegan messaging and stuff like that, but no one's really talking about this movie. How bizarre it is. Rock Monsters, who just... Rock Monsters. I'm serious. There's Rock... This movie is bizarre. It is, like... <clears throat> like, it's a 3 out of 10. It's dumb. It's bizarre. But it's... I guess you've just... You've overloaded it with really good actors who can just sell this shit. And the really good actors are really good in it. Russell Crowe's fantastic as Noah. Even though the character he's playing is complete fucking dickbag. The whole time. Never liked Noah. And then everyone just follows him all the time anyway, so, like, they're all kind of stupid. But, oh, man. Three out of ten. But the fun factor is huge. Don't do what I did and watch this movie by yourself. Get some booze. Get some whatever. Sit in a room. And just prepare to fucking laugh. I'm serious. This movie is... One of the most amazing bad films of all time. Like... I think it's up there in the upper echelons of good bad movies. This is fucking incredible. It's a 3 out of 10. Holy jumping shitballs. You've got to see this movie to believe it. I still don't believe what some of the shit that's in this. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Inconsistent. Dumb. Mmm. <sighs> <sighs> 